It's Mike at Hot Comics and Collectibles with my pick of the week. Star Wars, number one from Marvel Comics by Jason Aaron and John Cassidy. This is the one, folks. This is the book. This is a brilliant kickoff to what I hope will be a great 2015 in comics. Uh, as a big Star Wars fan, I was very nervous. Um, well, I'll put it this way. I was sorry to see Dark Horse lose the Star Wars license. I thought they'd done right by it for a number of years. They'd put out some really high-quality stories. They'd had some great creative teams. But, uh, you know, I was a little hesitant about uh, big Disney-owned corporate Marvel taking over the uh, my beloved Star Wars license. But you know what? Cassidy's script is fantastic. Um, or, I'm sorry, Aaron's script is fantastic. Cassidy is firing on all cylinders with the pencils. If you thought his work was a little lackluster or phoned in on Uncanny Avengers, that's because he was saving his chi for this book. It fucking rules. He, uh, he draws <coughs> draws Vader and the, uh, the Imperial War Machines with aplomb. Uh, his Luke, Han, and Leia look like they stepped off the screen. In fact, reading this comic... You can feel years and years and years of underwhelming prequels and uh, convoluted expanded universe just <laughs> fall away. This feels like Star Wars. This feels like a book you could have picked off the newsstand in 1977 after seeing the movie. Uh, they got it right. It's good. It's great. It's a great book. Pick it up. Read it. Love it. You will. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's uh, awesome.